Hello and welcome. This is BRAD, and today we're going to be looking at uh, Autodesk Inventor again. Specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the menu navigation, how you get around the software to create new files uh, or, or find the commands or tools that you're looking for. So, to get started, let's talk about creating a new file and the different file types. So this is the, when you first start Inventor, this is the screen that you'll see. And you can see we have four different new file types that we can create. You can also get new file types by coming up in here and hitting uh, new. And that'll open up this window that will actually give you more options. But either, either works fine. Uh, there are four different types of files that we will create, that can be created in Inventor. The first is a part file. You can see that right there and right there. A part file is just a single individual part of a design. Uh, we might have a part, a design that involves multiple different pieces. This would just be one of those pieces. Uh, part files are always have the extension .ipt. So if you're looking for a part file and, that you have saved in a uh, folder on your computer, you would look for one that ends in a .ipt. Uh, that might help you find it. The second type that we have is an assembly. An assembly takes multiple part files and puts them together uh, to show how they would fit together. We will always do a standard uh, part file, which is what you'd get if you just click this quick link over here. Uh, but we're gonna do a standard, just like we're always gonna do a standard part file. The uh, assembly will end in .iam. So again, if you're looking for a assembly, look for something that ends in .iam. The third type of file that we can do is a drawing. A drawing is just gonna be a 2D uh, representation of our design, of our parts. Typically, we're gonna do a, a multi-view drawing. And so we can come into Inventor to create those multi-view drawings for us, those two-dimensional drawings of our parts. That always ends in an IDW. .idw would be the file extension for our drawings. And finally, there's a presentation file. Presentation files allow us to animate our assemblies, which is frequently a cool thing to kind of show how it works, show how it's put together through an animation. And that's going to have an extension of .ipn. You'll also see down here we have uh, some files that I've been working on recently. So if you've been working on anything in Inventor recently, those files will be here so that you can quickly find them and just open them and start working on them again. If your file's not listed here, maybe it's one you haven't worked on for a while or uh, you've been working on it on a different computer, you would come up here to this open command and you could just search the computer for the file you actually want to use. So let's uh, open up this file here. And then we'll start looking at how uh, the menus are laid out and how you find the different tools and commands that you're looking for. So this is the basic screen for a part file. We have here in the center, the graphics window that shows the actual 3D rendering of my design. Uh, <clears throat> we also have <clears throat> over here the browser window. Uh, also sometimes just called the model window. It shows all the different, uh, the, the process that we used or that I used to create this part. And up here I have the ribbon. And the ribbon is where we find most of the options and the commands that we need to work on our part. Now the ribbon itself is divided into several different things. You can see that uh, the top here, there are what we call tabs. And the tabs will change which uh, what the ribbon looks like, which options are there. So we have several different tabs. There's one tab that's a little bit different. This file tab actually opens up a whole nother menu. Uh, the file tab then uh, opens up, so you have options like new, new file, open a file, save, save as, those basic ones um, under open. Then um, I was thinking it showed a minute ago, some recent files, but oh, there they are. There's our recently created files. So again, you have that as kind of a quick access. Uh, inside each 
ribbon or each tab, then we have a unique ribbon. And that ribbon is divided into panels. So we have a sketch panel here, a create panel, a modify panel. Inside the panels are our various tools and commands. Uh, th these are really called commands, different commands that we can use to design or modify a part. Uh, some of the panels will have additional commands if you hit the drop down menu. Uh, sometimes this uh, ribbon ends up and a view like this or it could disappear entirely. So there's different options here for how much of that you want to show. Uh, maybe you want to have more graphics window or, or something like that. But typically what I find is people hit this button on accident uh, and then they're like, where did my tools go? So there's this little gray button with an arrow in it. And as you click on that, it will scroll through the different options for how to view your ribbon. So if you ever lose your ribbon or it becomes in a view that is not as detailed as you want, just, just keep clicking this and it will scroll through until you get back to the full ribbon view, which is what I almost always leave it as. And what I find most people like is just to have almost everything visible so they can find the command that they're looking for more quickly. The other thing that can happen sometimes is we can lose this browser window or that model window. And that also really makes it a lot harder to work on this. It gives you a bigger graphics window, but typically we want that there. So to get that back, you would go to the View uh, tab. And on that View ribbon, you would come to your Windows panel and click User Interface. And then we will look for Model, and we will turn that option back on. So it's really easy to do both of those things to accidentally shrink this ribbon or to accidentally close your model window. So it's good to know how to bring those back. The last thing to talk about are our navigation tools, which are over here on the right. These I've actually talked about in previous videos, so I shouldn't need to say too much about them. Uh, right here we have the home, uh, home view button. Um, that is useful if our uh, part has kind of gone missing or gotten to a really bizarre view that I don't like, I can always just bring it back into view using that. The view cube uh, we've talked about can move around. And then we also have the navigation bar right here. That has various different options for how to uh, move this around and all that's been talked about in previous videos. So that is the basics of how we get around an inventor, how we find the different options that we need to use and what we call them so that as you know, we talk about this in class, we can use the uh, proper terminology. All right, thank you for watching and have a good day.